Okay, good morning, everybody. Again, this is Scott Sharp. I'm one of the forecasters here at the Weather Service office in Raleigh, and I'll be conducting the uh, weekly weather briefing for Central North Carolina. It uh, should be relatively short, a uh, relatively uh, quiet week ahead of us, and fortunately for a lot of folks, uh, some dry weather headed this way for a few days, which is well needed. So we'll go and get started now. I have a time of 11.31. Okay, what do I do next? So the weather pattern for this week, uh, we'll go up here in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, relatively quiet weather here for actually the first three to five days of, of, this, of this coming week. Uh, most of the weather for the beginning of the week will actually be across to our north and northwest, uh, well to the north and northwest of our region. Uh, we will have an upper level disturbance go across the region tonight. We'll produce some spotty light rain. If you get more than two or three hundreds, you're one of the lucky ones. Uh, mm -hmm. Most places will remain dry or just get a trace or no more than a hundredth of an inch. Most of that rainfall will fall during the hours of 6 p.m. to midnight, um, and then from midnight to 5 a.m. to the north and east of Raleigh. Uh, but again, most areas will see uh, very little of any rainfall from this level of disturbance. Um, Temperature-wise, uh, relatively mild uh, for this time of year for today and tomorrow. Um, yesterday's high temperatures were well in the 60s across a large part of central North Carolina. Uh, today we're a little bit cooler, but still a little bit above normal for this time of year. Uh, tomorrow, out ahead of this warm, uh, this cold front that's moving across the uh, lower Great Lakes later this afternoon and tonight, uh, we'll have a stout southwest winds tomorrow. So we'll be kind of breezy tomorrow and temperatures well back into the 60s. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if a few places across the Sand Hills and southern Piedmont reach 70 or even the lower 70s. Uh, we will have an Arctic front or a Canadian cold front go through, uh, looks like Tuesday night into Wednesday, which will bring some more seasonal type air into central North Carolina. So temperatures for the latter half of the week will tend to be near or a little bit below normal for this time of year. And again, that Arctic, the, the, I'm sorry, the Canadian high pressure will be settling across our region for the end of the week. You can see the area of high pressure here in the lower left-hand corner of the screen centered here over the lower Great Lakes, the lower High River Valley. Um, and then that high will drift offshore by the weekend, which will allow a storm system to approach us from the uh, west-southwest. And this system here will bring us some unsettled weather for the weekend. Uh, severe weather potentials nil pretty much for the next few days. Uh, accumulated precipitation. Again, a lot of us will be able to, to dry out after a very, very wet uh, few months. Um, but we could use some more dry weather. But it looks like the storm system that's coming at us for the weekend will probably produce water equivalent amounts of a, probably a quarter to a half inch across the region. Again, this is way too early to say as to actually how much we'll actually get. Um, it looks like the potential, though, is for to get some uh, measurable rainfall about a half, I'll say about a quarter to a half inch here across the region. Most of that precipitation falling during the period Saturday, Saturday night, and early Sunday. So again, for the, week, the weekly total, we're looking at somewhere maybe a quarter to half inch of rainfall across central North Carolina for this week. And again, the system that we're looking at it for Saturday and Saturday night and early Sunday, there's a lot of factors involved. A, when would the precip actually get here? B, when there are the best dynamics going across the area? C, the amount of cold air that we'll have with this system? Uh, the area of high pressure that, that will deposit the cold air into our region is transitory, meaning it's moving. It's not going to be sticking around all that long. So it looks like it depends upon how much the cold air actually sticks around when the, when the precip gets here. We're determining what kind of precipitate type, precipitation types will get across the region. So right now, this graphic here, which is for day six, uh, tells you the probability of receiving snow and or sleet with a water equivalent of a quarter of an inch for the period Saturday and Saturday night. And you can see it's a non-zero chance, but it's a very small chance across a large part of central North Carolina. Uh, looks like a little bit better chance for some uh, measurable either snow and sleet across parts of the northern mountains of northwest North Carolina. Uh, but if you're here in the Piedmont, um, again, it, there's a chance, but it's not a great chance at this time. Again, the system is still developing. In fact, the system's still out in the Pacific Ocean, so we haven't had a chance to sample it with upper air data yet. So this is something just to watch, uh, but right now it doesn't have all the signals there that indicate that this will be a, a major winter storm for central North Carolina at this time. Uh, it, it looks like it would be more of a nuisance threat 
And again, uh, probably for the areas of our western Piedmont, maybe a little bit more of a threat to areas further west of our region across parts of the foothills and the, uh, and the mountains of western North Carolina at this time. So, so again, just something just to look, keep in mind in the back of your head. Uh, to just keep up on it, but right now it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of a, of a player for our region uh, for the weekend. And then taking a look ahead for the temperature and precipitation outlooks for the next uh, two weeks or so. Uh, Temperature-wise, looks like eagle chances of being either at or below or above normal. Um, so again, somewhere near or maybe a little bit near or a little bit above normal would be our chances for temperatures. Uh, precip wise uh, looks like still that chance of or maybe a little bit above normal chances for normal precipitation here across central North Carolina. So the pattern that we were in for a good part of 2018 will continue into looks like uh, most of uh, January with temperature with a better normal than chances of receiving precipitation during this time frame. So again, mostly dry weather through most of the work week. Again, some spotty light rain late tonight or this evening into late overnight hours, but then dry for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and most of Friday as well. Uh, the above normal temperatures that we've been experiencing here for the last few days uh, will trend to be colder than normal by the end of the week. And there is a possibility of some unsettled weather by the weekend, and there will be a threat for some wintry mix over portions of our Piedmont. And then down below, you can see the temperature trend and expected weather conditions for the period uh, today through Friday. So that is about it. If there are any questions, I'll be glad to take them at this time. If not, not seeing anything right now. If not, uh, you have our number in case you uh, have any questions or concerns. Otherwise, we have a good and safe week, and we'll see you next Monday.